When it comes to writers, I can't think of anyone more prolific than Stephen King. With 56 novels published as of today and another one due in September, it's easy to see why he holds the Guinness Book of World Records for the most adapted stories to TV and film. Most of his projects for film can be described as hit or miss, and I am, unsurprisingly, skeptical about any rumors about Stephen King's stories being presented on the screen. And when I heard that The Dark Tower, the best fantasy series ever written, go ahead and fight me, was up for movie production, I underwent a roller coaster of emotions. That started in 2007. It's now 2017, and they just released a trailer. So here is pure sarcasm's straightforward thoughts on Stephen King's The Dark Tower, the movie, so far. In 2007, a little and relatively unknown director by the name of J.J. Abrams was attached to produce and direct The Dark Tower when it was reportedly optioned for $19. And if you don't know the reference, you haven't read the books. King, a big fan of Lost, stated that he trusted Abrams to translate his vision. Nothing came of it, and after 2009, the option expired. In 2010, NBC Universal released a press statement saying that Ron Howard would now be helming a project that included three feature films alternating with two seasons of a TV show to bridge the gaps. Casting was even discussed when possible leads varying between Javier Bardun, Viggo Morgensen, Liam Neeson, and Russell Crowe. But by 2012, Howard reported that he was having a hard time finding a major studio to fund such an ambitious project. Fast forward to 2015 and Sony Pictures announced that they were fast-tracking a Dark Tower project. Stephen King himself was optimistic, quoted as saying, I'm excited that the Dark Tower is finally going to appear on the screen. Ron Howard would no longer be directing, but stay on as a producer. Nicola Arcel, mainly known for the Danish version of A Girl with a Dragon Tattoo series, was announced to be directing. Casting rumors continued until it was released that Matthew McConaughey would be playing the Man in Black, and Idris Elba would star as Roland Deschain. Relatively unknown Tom Taylor would be playing Jake Chambers. I've been watching this saga and hoping that something would come of it. Then I saw the cover of Entertainment Weekly. Even after more and more rumors started being released, I was still skeptical. I've been hurt before. Then they dropped the trailer. It was beautiful. They're finally making this thing. And then I watched the trailer, and I had so many questions. Now here's where I put a big old spoiler warning, not for the movie, but for the books. I'll keep the spoiler as small as possible, but it's kind of important to those who've actually read the books. Okay, ready? While being the first movie, it's not the story of the first book. It's actually what happens after the seventh book of the series. How do I know this? Look here. That's right, Stephen King himself tweeted this picture. So those of you who have read the series, watched the trailer and thought, wait, why is Jake aware of the gunslinger before he was in the way station? And why does he look like they're going to be traveling in New York? And why is Jackie Earl Hale been cast as Sayre when Sayre doesn't appear till book six? That all means nothing. With them basically announcing the story will take place after Stephen King's series, they are free to explore whatever they want to, story-wise. This fact is encouraging and honestly frightening. It does allow the screenwriters a lot more freedom to produce the story that will better fit on the big screen. But at the same time, it really takes away from the whole this is a Dark Tower movie aspect because it isn't the books. While yes, we don't have to have the traditional fight of the books did it better, but now we have to have the fight of I wish they would have just made the book. It's just weird, but it's weird in a possible good way. I would like to say the production of the film looks great so far. Idris Alba as the gunslinger is amazing, and the trailer made a really big deal about the guns. Just watch him reload. Yes. And I couldn't think of a better casting for the man in black. McConaughey has proven that he can handle just about any role, and he looks like a man with a dark purpose here. My favorite part of the trailer is the undertone of the gunslinger's motto, or of the lessons as they say in the book. If you love the books, as well as you should, seriously, fight me, then this motto is vital to the movie. Also, if the movie doesn't start with, the man in black fled across the desert, and the gunslinger followed, I might just walk out of the theater. Not really, but damn it, it should. But what did you think of the first trailer? Are you as optimistically excited as I am? And who do you think should play Eddie Dean and Odetta in the sequel? Leave your comments below and we can discuss. Please take a second to subscribe to my channel and also feel free to like and share this video. You can follow me on Twitter at Pure Sarcasm. That's all for now. I've been Pure Sarcasm. Enjoy.